Hello from the beautiful Munich, Germany. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things to do and what to see if you're visiting the capital city of Bavaria, Germany. If you are a soccer or football fan, you need to see the Allianz Arena. It is a famous stadium landmark in Munich and the home of the FC Bayern team. This stadium has 70,000 sitting capacity. This is located a little bit outside the city, so we visited it first. Oh, they're celebrating their 10th year anniversary. So we are done now. We just took pictures outside because we don't have tickets. I think tickets will be purchased online for 12 euros. We didn't do that, but then it's okay. Being outside is also cool just to see it in person because we only see it on TV. <laughs> yeah, we will go back now to the city center and we will get some breakfast. It's 10 in the morning, but the sun is brutal. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> almost there we went there early to avoid the crowd now the crowd is building up all of these people will go there and we are done i think that's the best trick if you want to enjoy and see the hot spots tourist hot spots or if you travel in general to be extra early you know the peak hours always starts like 10 until like 2 p.m so either you can go very early or late in the afternoon now we are waiting for our metro it comes in a few minutes and we go back to the city center and we will check marine platz this is where the famous city hall in munich is this is also a very touristy area and we wanted to grab some breakfast there and i hope we find a good spot yes that's the plan Marine Platz is the heart of Munich and it's the perfect starting point to visit the city. From here, you can basically just walk around and see the other popular tourist spots in the area. And the highlight in Marine Platz is the Glockenspiel. It's a must see for the visitors of Munich. It plays every day 11 a.m. 12 p.m. and from March to October additionally at 5 p.m. and every night at 9 p.m. To see the skyline views of Munich, climb the top of St. Peter's Tower. We will climb the tower to see the city view of Munich. We pay 10 euros, 5 euros each. Take note that there is no elevator available, so it's just plainly stairs, so the struggle is real, but the views up there is quite rewarding. The next day, we visited the busiest square in Munich, the Karlplatz, and there you see the Karlthor Gate, and it will lead you to the shopping area along Neuhauser Straße and Kaufinger Straße. Our next stop is the famous Munich's landmark, the Frauenkirche. It's the seat of the Archbishop and this beautiful cathedral is over 500 years old. With its 99 meter high twin tower, it's for sure widely visible in the whole city. We also stopped by at Victualenmark to see the market, but sadly it was already closed when we got there. Here you can buy fresh produce and goods and you can also eat there. In the middle of this market you can find this maypole, it has pictures displaying the trades and traditions of Bavaria. Another day, another destination. Today we are visiting Nymphenburg Schloss Garten and it was extremely popular as the summer residence of the Bavarian rulers. Located in the west of the city, this palace has an extensive, symmetrical and beautiful parks and gardens. You can just easily honestly spend a whole day here. 
If you have the time on a beautiful summer month, you can take a gondola cruise along the canal of the palace grounds. On the hottest day while visiting Munich, we went to Eisbach for swimming. On hot summer days like this, people love to hang out here in the park and near the river as well. Honestly, we had so much fun and it was very refreshing to jump into the water and just go with the flow of the river. The water comes from Isar River and it flows through the city's garden called English Garden. After we went swimming and chill in the sun, we went to Eisbachfälle. It's a surfing spot in the middle of the city. It's just also in the area. And so many people just stop there and enjoy watching the surfers. Today is our last day in Munich. We stayed here for five days. It was an amazing experience. Munich is such a beautiful city and I am going to show you guys where we are staying here in Munich. We stayed in the Stay Residence Hotel. It's located 30 minutes outside from the city but it's very accessible with bus and metro and also very timely right now because the government here in germany is offering or having a promo with the nine euro ticket for a month and you can use all public transportation this is what we've been using since we got here in munich and it's such a big help because transportation can be very expensive we go outside the city we drive our car because it's faster but then within the city it's better to get the public transportation we like our apartment or hotel because it has a small kitchen where we can cook and this trip we did a lot of cooking and less eating out because eating out or especially in munich it can be very expensive so i will start my tour with our little space here this is the main door and right after you enter the main door, this is our closet. It's empty because we already 90% pack our things and this is good to go. Mirror. And here is the toilet. Very simple. I still have to pack all of those. And this is our bed. And this is our little kitchen. It has a two stove kitchen and it has this exhaust so it won't smell when we are cooking we have a microwave and oven i think because we bake our brutchen here and our stuff is in there and the pots are in there i can't reach it because i'm small we have a sink we have here our fridge this stuff will go into our cooler box here is the basura this is our bag it's almost good to go we have a tv our work table this is where we eat that's our place here in munich it was a good stay but this hotel or apartment doesn't have an air conditioning so it's hard to sleep in the evening very common here in germany hotels don't have like air condition and it's a struggle during summer because it's so warm thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time